What's up, whiskey lovers, and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight with me, Big Al. Thanks for tuning in, folks. I really do appreciate your ongoing support, and it's great to have the pleasure of your company. Now, up for review today is a limited edition Irish whiskey, the Jameson Black Barrel Proof. As you all probably know, I'm a big, big fan of the Jameson Black Barrel Standard Release, which is bottled at 40% ABV. This beauty here is bottled at 50% ABV. Is it worth forking out 20 quid more for this upgrade? Well, before we answer that question, let's look at some of the specifications in this whiskey. It's made from pot still and grain whiskey. And interestingly, the grain whiskey here is produced only once or twice a year by the guys down at the Middleton Distillery, and it provides a big flavour contrast uh, compared to their standard grain whiskey used in their other expressions. Now it's then matured in a combination of American oak, sherry casks and double charred axe bourbon barrels and this double charring on the axe bourbon barrels is something that is unique to both black barrel and the black barrel proof that we have here. So. It's non-age stated, it's bottled at 50% ABV, it's non-chill filtered and it'll cost you around 50 quid at a recommended retail price. So folks, if you have a pour of something nice in your glass, you know, please drink along. If you've got a pour of this, that would be ideal. So let's start off in the nose. Slauncher. Right off, chocolate, ground coffee beans, vanilla, and it all comes across as rich. It's elegant. Do you know what? And even luxurious. It just, you don't really have to get too close to the Glencairn, and those flavours are coming right out at you. Butterscotch, toffee, again, rich. Elegant, flavorful, and there's a nice big dollop of barrel char in there as well. And then, just right up at the end, there pops a wee bit of black pepper. Now, on the nose, this doesn't come across as a 50%, but that may well change on the palate. So, let's take a sip and see how it is. Gotcha. And straight off, yes, it is different on the palate. That black peppery note that just came in right on the back end of the nose. It's right here, up front, on the arrival, and it's quite prominent. It arrives with a spicy burst of heat, but then it does quickly subside, though not completely, and then we get rich, bold flavours of, again, chocolate, coffee, actually vanilla coffee, not vanilla and coffee separate, but as a combination, and I do like a good vanilla coffee. And then as it transitions, we've got coffee beans, ground coffee beans, and then a bit of barrel char. Vanilla, toffee, butterscotch, melted butter on whole grain toast. Definitely whole grain toast. And that spicy tingle, it's still there, but it's now transformed from a black pepper spice to a more cinnamon forward spice. And now here comes a bit of banana like proper good fresh banana. Not the artificial banana that you get in some other whiskies. This is the real McCoy. The mouthfeel, it's rich, it's elegant, and as I said before, it is luxurious. And that gentle heat, which 
permeates eh, every sip in this whiskey. It just ensures there's a nice simmering effervescence on the tongue and it ensures a long lingering finish and those flavours that I've already mentioned are very much part of that finish again. It's predominantly chocolate, there's vanilla, there's coffee, but one thing that really comes out in this whiskey is if you let it sit for a while, you let it open up, that butterscotch flavour really comes out. And if you love those flavours, you will absolutely adore this whiskey. So, is it worth 20 quid extra? Is it a step up from the Jameson Black Barrel at 40% uh, ABV at 30 quid? Hell yes. This is an excellent whiskey. It's perfectly balanced. But then again, what else would you expect from the guys at Middleton? They really know what they're doing. They've got it all going on and they know how to put together a damn good whiskey. So the only thing that's a downside here is it's a limited edition. I sure hope that it becomes a yearly batch release because it is that good and I haven't really heard anybody saying a bad word about it. So how does that translate into a score? Well, that's going to be a 91 for me. A really first class Irish whiskey. So I hope you enjoyed the review, folks. Let me know your thoughts down below, particularly if you've had this, and we'll take it from there. And until the next time, please look after yourselves, look after each other, and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Slotcha. Thanks for watching, folks. I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews, and if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.